Good morning everyone. My name is Joe and welcome to my YouTube channel, Cryfire Gardening. Uh, today we're going to go over how I grow my squash. Last year I grew squash as an experiment up a seven, actually it's an eight foot tall stake and it grew fantastic. Pretty good yield but most importantly it kept the plant up off the ground. This year I decided to do the same thing and I'll show you right from the beginning. I did it with all my squash plants. They come in on the back side here. You'll notice I have little nails every foot, foot and a half up the plant or up the pole. And then I tie a string, just loop it around the nail. And then I use tomato clips to clip. Sorry, I have a little cold. Uh, use tomato clips to hold the stem. Now the plant is actually supporting itself because the string just loops around the nail and comes right back down. In another week or so, I can set up another clip and loop around either the same nail or the next nail up. And I'll do that as the plant grows. And by August, September, it should be about this tall, which is at my height about six foot. What's fun about growing them up a pole like this is when the yellow crookneck squash actually starts growing, gravity will pull it down. So you get a longer neck. It's not quite as crook, but that's okay. Um, keeps it nice and clean though. None of the uh, fruit actually touch the ground, except for maybe ones on the very bottom. But that's the way I do my squash. It's definitely a, an interesting way of doing it. You can see on this one, I have two clips in the same place, but I can actually move one of these later on and tighten up the string and put it up here. If you lose a couple male flowers, who cares? You're going to get a lot of male flowers anyway on these things in the first few weeks. And then what I did is, whatever was near the ground, I just bought in some more compost, built it up, and as this thing gets bigger, I'll bring the compost even higher, and hopefully that stops the fine bores from getting in there. Two birds, one stone, right? Well, we'll see what happens. Last year, like I said, I only did it with one. This year I'm putting all my eggs in one basket. See what happens. Hope you found this interesting. <laughs> Take care.